Fentanyl is 50 times more addictive than heroin. 50 times more addictive. Fentanyl has been mixed into all sorts of drugs, recreational or otherwise, unbeknownst to those end users. Welcome to the Crossover Connections with Jack Wayne podcast. I'm Jack Wayne, a scientist and college professor at an Australian University. Fentanyl is very, very deadly and very addictive. And it is an opioid, which is in the same class as Oxycontin, as Oxy. So the fact that it is being mixed into a lot of recreational drugs that young people may be using at parties and music festivals, legally or illegally, they're actually not realizing the risk they're putting themselves under because a very deadly and very addictive opioid is getting mixed into other drugs which they may not think to be anywhere near as big a deal. How do we get into this predicament and why is the RACGP in Australia trying to back and argue for maybe more routine drug testing across the country? This comes down to a couple of features of fentanyl that make it really easy to mix with other drugs. So the first thing is fentanyl is very, very potent. When we talk about potency of a drug, we're talking about essentially how much of it do you need to add to someone's bloodstream for them to feel an effect, for the effect of the drug to take place. And if it's very potent, that means you need hardly any of it, a tiny amount for someone who's taking a drug to have an effect on their biology. And what opioids are all doing, they're targeting the opioid receptor, which very broadly is involved in pain. Blocking the opioid receptor would essentially stop you from feeling pain. There are other side effects, but that's very broadly what it does. And there's a couple of things that regulate how much drug, how much opioid you need to have to have an effect on the opioid receptor. Receptor binding to the drug, the tighter that binding event is, the less of the drug you will need. And fentanyl is very, very good at binding to the opioid receptor. So good, in fact, that you need hardly any of it. So if you just have a little bit of fentanyl, that pain receptor will be blocked and you can feel it. If they sprinkle in a bit of fentanyl, which is by all counts a lot cheaper than other drugs like heroin, they mix in a little bit of fentanyl and the user will feel something straight away. And they will feel, ah, oh, I got really good value for my money. How would they define value? Maybe just feeling a bit different, adding into other drugs like MDMA, different kinds of pills. But what they're actually doing is exposing those end users to enormous risk, both in terms of the capacity to overdose from fentanyl. I'm going to go out on a limb to say that a lot of people who are working with drugs illegally do not have a chemistry degree and therefore maybe measuring the exact amount of fentanyl to add might not be their strong suit. If it does contain fentanyl, Two milligrams can be lethal depending on the person's body size. So if even a tiny little bit of miscalculation of fentanyl being added into this pill that someone who's taking it doesn't know it has fentanyl, it could be deadly. Fentanyl is synthetic and it is up to 50 times stronger than heroin and 100 times stronger than morphine. And we talked about that strength before. Chemically, it's related to the ability to bind to a receptor and bind to it quickly and bind to it tightly. Quickly could just be how well and how quickly it's absorbed into your blood and into different parts of your system and hits the right receptors, crossing the blood brain barrier requires a number of chemical properties that allows any kind of chemical to move through that system in a speedy way. Binding to the receptor tightly is due to engineering. There are drugs that naturally fit receptors, of course, but synthetically made drugs like fentanyl is synthetically engineered in a lab. They can make that association between the receptor and the drug really, really tight and make it so that you need hardly any of the drug for it to have an effect. So the power of fentanyl and how potent it is, is the deliberate effort and the deliberate work of kind of geniuses in this field to make this so, so effective. But the indirect consequence of this amazing human ingenuity is the potency for its abuse. It is a major contributor to fatal and non-fatal overdoses in the US. And there is, of course, pharmaceutical fentanyl as well as illegally made fentanyl. And there are legitimate uses for pharmaceutical fentanyl under very clear guidelines. 
but illegally made fentanyl is very common and it can be liquid or powdered form and mixed with other drugs, heroin, cocaine, and methamphetamine into pills that resemble other prescription opioids and we can have fentanyl-laced drugs all over the place like we're finding out in Australia right now. It's gotten to the point where you need very rigorous recommendations and guidelines if you suspect someone is overdosing from fentanyl. You need to call whatever the emergency number in your country is. In America, it's 911. In Australia, it's triple zero if you suspect someone is experiencing an overdose. And if you have naloxone, which is essentially an anti-opioid blocker, that would try and bump the opioid away from that receptor as quickly as possible. Naloxone, which can be available as a nasal spray now, the FDA approved it as a nasal spray a little while ago if it's available. And then you try and keep the person awake and breathing, try and prevent them from choking, so lay them on their side and stay with them until emergency assistance arrives. This is something that is very, very standardized and it's kind of sad that these guidelines have to be so standardized now because the extent of this overdose epidemic is really, really pervasive across the whole world. What fentanyl is doing on your brain is, again, to block the body's opioid receptors, which are found in the areas of the brain that control pain and emotions. And this is a link from the National Institute on Drug Abuse, which is uh, funded and organized by the NIH, the National Institutes of Health. The side effects or the effects of it, extreme happiness, drowsiness, nausea, confusion, constipation, sedation, or respiratory problems and unconsciousness. And you can overdose really quickly and you can decrease the amount of oxygen that reaches the brain when you do this because it's so potent you need so little bit overdose is actually very easy to do let's say you're on another opioid that's not as powerful as fentanyl and something you take is laced with fentanyl you will need way more of the other opioid to match the feeling you get from taking a tiny bit of fentanyl so it can ruin other drugs for you and make you more dependent not just on fentanyl but more dependent on other pain management drugs so really it is a very very vicious cycle that's involved and people addicted to fentanyl who stop using it can have all these withdrawal symptoms from it even as early as a few hours. So this is the latest iteration of this very addictive drug and if scientists are able to engineer a synthetic drug that binds to that opioid receptor so efficiently and so tightly. Thank you for listening. I'm Jack Wayne. Hope to connect with you again next time around. <laughs>